going on everybody? It's Rob with another video. I recently had a subscriber asking me my take on front side big spins, but before I teach you how to do this trick, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and hit that subscribe button because I do some of the most in-depth skateboarding tutorials here on YouTube. So before you learn how to front side big spin, it is extremely important that you have a really good front side shove it, a really good front side 180, and it would really help if you could do a nolly front side big spin. You don't have to learn that trick, but I find since it's spinning in that big spin direction and you're pivoting a little bit on your front foot, it's really gonna help. So like always, I'm gonna play a slow motion clip so you can check out where I place my feet and everything that's going on with the front side big spin. So for this trick, you wanna put your back foot just like a front side shove it, but move your foot a little bit closer to the bolts so your foot sits right in the pocket of your skateboard. And then for your front foot, simply put it just like you would for a heel flip. With the front side big spin, it is super important to get a really good wind up with your shoulders. Once your feet are in the right spot and your shoulders are wound up, now it's time to pop the trick. The pop is extremely important. You wanna pop directly down and forward with your back foot and make sure that it's a really quick and snappy pop. Don't scoop it or don't delay the pop. Once you have all that figured out, you wanna simply lift your front foot straight up and wait for the board to come around. Another little tip is you wanna lean a little bit of weight on your front foot so that if you don't quite get the big spin around, it'll simply slide to complete the rotation. Okay, so a lot of people are really naturally good at front side big spins and they seem to just learn them really easily. But for me, I had a really hard time learning this trick. It seemed that everything would go wrong. So I encountered two major problems with this trick. Uh, the biggest problem being that no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get the board to fully rotate and I would kind of do like a weird front shove it pivot, but I wouldn't quite you know, be able to get it around. And that's why I wanna reinforce the pop and the movement of your shoulders. To get this around, I like to wind up my shoulders even more than I normally would. So when I'm riding towards the trick, I like to have my shoulders turned like another like 10 to 20 degrees. And then I make sure that I get a really good wind up. And right when I pop the board, I want my shoulders to be parallel. I don't wanna have my shoulders opening up before I pop the board because it just really struggles to get the board around. And another thing I wanna go over is the pop. When you can't quite get the board around, you naturally wanna scoop out and kick the board away from you to get it to wind up. And it seems that whenever I did that, the board would spin even less. So I'm really trying to emphasize when you pop this trick, you wanna pop straight down, almost like a kickflip and slightly push the board forward and lean back. And if you do this and wind up your shoulders, you'll notice that the trick will come around really easy. But after this started happening, I ran into my other huge problem is that whenever I would get the board to fully rotate, I would slip back. So to solve that, I would put a little bit of weight on my front foot, but then when I would do that, the board would stop rotating again and I would do like a little weird front shove thing. So this is kind of the secret to this trick and this is why I think this is a really hard trick is you have to find that perfect balance of loading up your back foot and winding up your shoulders, but at the same time, putting just enough weight on your front foot. So then when, when you whip it around, you don't just slip back. Because once you figure the pop out, it's kind of easy to wind your shoulders up and pop and give it a lot of energy, but then you're always just gonna be slipping back. So that's that fine balance with this trick of figuring out if you need to lean a little bit more on your front foot or a little bit more on your back foot. And once you figure out that perfect, I guess, formula, you're gonna be able to whip the board around and when it comes around, you'll be able to catch it and just pivot it around. And after that, you should have the front side big spin. Um, th this was a little bit of a rant, but I kind of like talking about tricks like this because with skateboarding, sometimes you just have tricks really easily. Like for me, I was really good at hard flips. It was one of the first tricks I learned. I didn't really have to think about it, it just worked. So if the big spin is like that for you, then just uh, follow the tips that I talked about in the beginning and then just let it ride. Don't overthink it. But for certain people, tricks can be really hard because all of our bodies are different and front side big spins for me are extremely hard. So I really had to work through these steps. So to, to recap, Make sure that your pop is quick and snappy. You don't wanna scoop it, you don't wanna drag it, and pop straight down and forward. 
make sure you have a lot of juice on your shoulders, make sure you're extra wound up, and make sure to just keep in mind that when you're whipping a trick that hard, you're probably gonna be off balance when you land. So you have to figure out in the air, like how much pressure am I putting on my front foot or my back foot? If you play around with this, you're probably gonna land the trick. And I truly believe that no matter how hard a trick can be, the more effort you put into it, you're eventually gonna land it. So that being said, good luck with the front side big spins. And as always, shoot me a comment below if you have any requests in the future, any tricks you wanna learn. Um, and I also just wanna say thank you guys so much. The channel's growing, the videos are doing well, and I'm extremely appreciative of this, and I'll see you next time. Peace.